One of the most important challenges, I would definitely say privacy, because what we see happening um, in all of these moves to kind of bring technology to uh, disabled people or communities who are in rural areas um, is that privacy goes for a toss. So I mean, so my colleague, she's blind, right? And for her, WhatsApp is perfect because it's accessible, she's able to use it. But WhatsApp also super shady, right? Um, and she can't use Signal because it's not accessible. She can't use wire, it's not accessible, right? So um, it's good that we have secure platforms like wire and Signal, but then they're also for like able-bodied people. Um, and we need to work around those things. We can't just let a, this, this entire population be vulnerable to data mining and so on. And also when it comes to bringing technology or like digital services to rural areas, especially in India, what I see is that a lot of corporations are just kind of cashing in on that and using access as an alibi to further their agendas of data mining and datafying people uh, for commercial gain. And these things can't just go unchecked. So I feel like the government really, and civil society NGOs as well really need to kind of work together on these things. And we need a lot of gatekeeping, rigorous gatekeeping, not on individuals. I mean, there are two, but especially on corporations. Like, don't trust them. Don't trust them with your data. <laughs> it's trouble. Yeah.